Hey guys, it's Seawolf. I wanted to talk about this Open Ill 8 or number 8. So this is kind of a, a different kind of knife. It's a little bit unusual. I had I had never really seen one of these. My uncle actually got me this and it's a really a cool knife. From what I've seen, they're actually pretty classic. A lot of people use them. They're made in France. And it's definitely not a tactical knife, of course, but it's really, really a good little EDC knife. The blade is thin, so it's great at slicing. It's also got a convex edge, which really surprised me for, for this kind of a knife. You know, I've, I've had to pay $200 for a knife that has a convex edge, and this has a convex edge, so it's really a good little knife. It's got a pretty handle. You've got some kind of routing in the wood, which is super cool. The locking mechanism is unique. So basically the way it works is you leave the slot open to close it. When you twist it, you can't get the blade out. And then when you twist it back, similarly you'll twist it and then the blade can't close. So it's a pretty secure locking system. I want to show you kind of what you'd use this knife for. This is going to be good at like cutting boxes open, slicing things. So I'll show you how thin you can slice this lemon right here. You see that thing is, because it's so thin, you're just going to be able to slice really anything. It's going to be great for like fruit or, or like I said, tape, whatever. And it's just a great EDC blade. Some of that lemon juice off there. But this would be a great knife for uh, someone young. You know, it's, it's, it's relatively small. It's, uh, like I said, it's not tactical, so you can't just whip it out. It's a very, very good knife for around the camp if you need to just do some food prep, things like that. So I hope this helps you guys out if you're wanting to buy it. I think it's a great knife. It's definitely um, in the kind of mid-range of knives. It's not the most expensive knife in the world, but it is great value. And it's really cool, I think, how it's made in France and that they use legitimate wood handles. But this would be a great pocket knife, something to peel an apple with, whatever, just everyday carry. And it's not going to be threatening. I know in some places of the world... When you, when you pull out a pocket knife, it can be a little bit threatening, but this is a very, I, I kind of call it a gentleman's knife. It's very classic and not really anything to be worried about. Cool. Thanks, guys. If you like this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. I also have another channel called Seawolf Tech where I review more things related to tech or kind of nerdy things like pop figures, whatever. Also subscribe to it. And feel free to comment if you want me to review a knife or have suggestions. Thanks, guys.